E... Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. And today we're talking about reference mixing. And if you're not familiar with the term reference mixing, that's the process of listening to your song through multiple devices during the mixing and mastering process to ensure that it sounds good across multiple platforms. Now, traditionally, this is done by people going into their car and giving their song what's called the car test, or taking their song and listening to it through their laptop speakers, cell phone speakers, earbuds, any type of mechanism that gives you a new set of information and a fresh perspective on your song can help you dial in the perfect balance of your levels and EQ. But realistically, not everybody has access to a fancy studio with multiple rooms, pairs of speakers, and listening environments set up. Many of you are just listening on a laptop with headphones and your software. What if there was a way to emulate what those speakers were doing and what those nice rooms were doing but virtually, inside your laptop, using your headphones. And that's where great new technology like Dear Reality comes in. Their new plugin called Dear VR Mix is similar to a mastering plugin where you throw it on the final output of your entire Ableton or whatever DAW you're using after your master chain. And it takes your pair of headphones, in my case, I'm using the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. And without having to adjust anything, you can take your song from a sterile headphone mix to a live control room. Let's take a listen. The project that I have pulled up is a track that I produced for Kara titled Go Ahead. And I'm going to start out with the plugin off. But before we listen, it's important for you to put on your headphones to get the proper stereo image because this is taking the signal that would be getting sent to your speakers and converting it to a signal specifically for headphones to emulate these virtual speakers that are here in front of you in this virtual room. The pair of headphones I'm going to be using today are the Sennheiser HD280 Pros. We've got the Deer VR Mix plugin loaded up here on the master. And I'm going to play the song with the Deer VR plugin off. And then once the vocals begin, we'll turn it on and you'll be able to hear right away when the room emulation kicks in. I could do anything I want. Get up, put my mind to it. Turn it on. Dream it up and then I do it. No fluff, never dilute it. So no, welcome yeah, to I your virtual to room. On time with the attitude. Attitude. Here at the bottom, we have two controls. Ambiance, which is almost like a wet dry control for how much room reverb and reflection you have in it. And focus, which blends how much left and right cross signal you have, which takes the left and right signals for the different ears of your headphones and starts to cross blend them, creating a more realistic listening experience as your song plays. So let's start with these all the way down and we'll bring them up. I could do anything I want. Get up, put my mind to it. Dream it up and then I do it. No fluff, never diluted. I'ma do anything I wanna do. No lie, only speak the truth. On time with the attitude. Attitude. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do what you want, what you want with the best. You could really hear the sound get placed in front of you when you push localized forward. That increases the effect that the sound is coming from a sound source in front of you, whereas this is more having the sound come from all around you like you're used to in your headphones. In addition to changing the parameters of your room, you have an option between a whole selection of different rooms. Mix room A, mix room B. I'm just going to let this keep playing and we're going to scroll through some of these mix rooms to hear the difference. Attitude. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do what you want. In the middle. In a car. Home theater. And a kitchen.
And just like the name says, you can hear the sound slapping around in this tight surfaced room, just like it would in a kitchen. I really liked hearing my song in a club. I think that's very useful to see if you have it too boomy or what that extra little bit of reverb that every club naturally has would do to your mix. And in addition to that, we have living room and stadium. I'm excited to hear stadium too. Let's keep playing this song. Check out living room. Stadium. In addition to choosing the room, let's go back to our original mix room A. You also have the option of different speaker setups. You could do a mono input for checking your mix in mono. Or mono summed. the default we were hearing or stereo wide so you have a bit of options to customize about the room itself ambience focus the room you're in or the speaker placement within the room you also have the option to rotate your head within the room you can look left and you can look right. I could do anything I want. Get up, put my mind to or you could look away from the speakers. Giving you a complete 360 virtual experience from within your room. Another really important feature that they have is just above here, headphone compensation. A lot of these virtual room modeling systems require you to have this one specific pair of headphones. And what I really like about this virtual room software is they have emulations for all of your most favorite popular pairs of headphones. For example, they have the HD 280 Pros that I'm using right now, the Sennheiser HD 25s, which I also use all the time, in addition to all the other very popular brands of studio headphones that you probably have. So I'm gonna go and select the preset for the headphones that I have on right now. And let's just turn the gain all the way up to zero. Just listen to it at full volume. I could do anything I want. Get up, put my mind to it. Dream it up and then I do it. No fluff, never diluted. And just like a lot of mastering plugins, they give you different phase options, linear or minimal phase shift, because you have the ability to do boosts. I could do anything I want. Get up, put my mind to it. Dream it up and then I do it. No fluff, never diluted. I'ma do anything I wanna do. No lie, only speak the truth. On time with the attitude. attitude. And let's turn headphone compensation off. to the club. Look to the left. Look to the right. Back into the car. Now, of course, this isn't a mastering plugin like you would want to bounce your mix on with, but a situation where you might want to leave this plugin on for when you're bouncing it is if you want to use this to put your sound in a virtual room. For example, maybe I want to take this plugin off of the master and put it on this lead synth right here. Just to put it more in an actual room instead of having it be so direct. Let's turn the ambience all the way up and let's also go for one of the larger rooms like the club. And let's put it before the side chain compressor. So 
So in addition to being a creative mixing and mastering tool, allowing you to take your head so literally out of the perspective of your headphones and into the perspective of a nightclub or a major mixing room, home theater, or stadium. You can also take it and use it as a creative reverb and space creating tool and something that you might want to actually keep into your mix and print. And I know this is definitely not what they intended it for. It was supposed to be more for what you're seeing it for on the master, but I really love using creative reverb plugins like this to give you spaces that feel real and use it just at a very small amount to put your sound into a room. Uh, that's just as important as putting your mix into a room to make sure that it sounds good. Putting your sound into a room can give it a whole new sense of life and a whole new perspective. So you can see with very little adjusting, you can transform your mix throughout a variety of different environments, which is key to getting a complete perspective on your song. While it's very important to know and learn your one main pair of speakers and your one main pair of headphones, it's equally important to have those outside perspectives. And not everybody has a car, a nightclub, and a stadium sitting around, or even a professional control room. So that's why virtual mixing and mastering plugins like this can help you find a fresh perspective on your mix. So there you have my overview of the Deer VR Mix Mix plugin powered by Sennheiser and Ambio. I'll put all the links to this plugin and more information below if you want to check this out on your mix and master. My name is Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.